So you are looking for a way to make your crypto research faster using ChatGPT or Bing Chat and it works quite well while looking for the text or news articles but not so well with videos? Well, I have a solution for you. Let's check it out. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and today we're gonna dive deeper into ChatGPT and its possibilities while doing crypto research. So in the previous video I showed you how to do a basic crypto research with the uh, Bing chat while looking for the coins for the information that your loved beloved creators creates and provides through the internet. That sounds great. But, my, but many of the creators create video, videos on YouTube and post them with quite a lot of valuable information about various kind of crypto projects, news and so on. Unfortunately, ChatGPT or Bing Chat cannot take the information from the video, well, at least now. Don't believe me? Let's check it out. So we have a video, this time from Coin Bureau. As we can see, if we press on the video, it works just fine and we can see that video is working as it's supposed. Great, the person is talking, you got the information and so on. Now, as you might know, you can always turn on the closed captions subtitles for the video. In this case, it's auto-generated because YouTube generates subti subtitles and the titles for each video that it can understand. And you can see it shows everything quite well. Yes, here is the titles what the person is talking and it's possible to see everything in here. Good! So that means that there is text information about the video that's being uploaded on YouTube. As we can see, subtitles are being automatically generated and everybody can turn them, turn them on and see them. Everybody can see them, except for Bing. And that's not all. Yes, these kind of subtitles, it might be difficult for Bing or any other chat engine to see because they are kind of on the video. But that's not all. We have an option like here, show transcript, and we can see all the subtitles in here, listed line by line, text by text, word by word. Everything was being said on the video. See, it's the same text that's being showed here, being displayed in here. And we can see all, all those subtitles in here. So this might look like a text that Bing should take it and should be able to read it. Okay, let's ask it to do that. Let's use the creative mode and let's ask if it can read the subtitles of the video. Let's mention that it should look for the video subtitles in the current page because otherwise it might not understand what kind of subti subtitles we are talking about. And as we can see, it just said that it can't read the subtitles because for some reason it can't see them. Okay, let's try to provide the link for the video. It should be able to see all the content on this page. Good. This is the progress. Looks like this time it's able to see the subtitles and was able to read the subtitles of the beginning of the video. So let's ask it to summarize the video. And as we can see, the summary, well, it's not exactly about the video actually, because this is some kind of Coinbase advertisement, 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 just a lot of advertisements. Looks like it just took the information from the description of the video, not of the video itself, not what about the author is talking, but just the description and it looks like it did not dive deeper into the subtitles and did not provide anything valuable in this case. You might say, that said, I was expecting more from this fabulous chat GPT bot. And now I can't get such, such a simple information from it. But wait, maybe you can. Actually, you can get 
the information about the video from the subtitles. Let me show you how. As we have all the subtitles in here, let's do some manual work. So select the beginning, go down to the bottom, press the shift key on the keyboard, press the mouse and everything will be selected. As we can see, the last line the author is talking was selected and the clip transferred to that last line, but never mind about this. Press Ctrl C on the keyboard or copy on here. Open simple app like Notepad and Ctrl V or paste the text in here. Here you go. All the text is being pasted here. Now, very simple, file, save, and the text will be saved on the simple text file. Now you might say, okay, so what's next? I have a file. What should I do with that file? Very simple. Open that file with Edge Browser. We can close it here. And you can do that very simply by just drag and drop the text. So I just took it from the folder I have saved it, press the mouse button and dragged it to the browser itself. Now releasing the button and as we can see all the text is being opened in the browser. Great! Now we have the information, the chat we was talking about before, but let's ignore this and let's try a new chat. Because we don't want that useless information to be in our chat that we now have all the information we need from the video. We want a fresh start with fresh questions. Let's try again. Summarize current page. Here we go. We got the information right away. The page about video about 10 crypto categories to watch in 2023. And a little bit more information. Let's go deeper. List those 10 categories. The ones that have been discussed in this video. So in this case, I wasn't so specific as usual. I just say list those 10 categories, but sometimes you might need to say list those 10 categories mentioned in the video. Because, well, most likely ChatGPT or Bing Chat will understand what you are asking for, for, but in some cases it might not. Here you go. 10 categories that was mentioned in the video. You can see them right away displayed on the blink of the eye. But as I'm interested in crypto coins, I would like to know if any of them was mentioned in this video as well. Was there any coin mentions? And we get the answer right away that some coins were mentioned for each category. Good, let's go deeper. Which has most potential? And we get the most important information. Yes, that's a difficult question, but chat was able to look through the script and get the information we are looking for. The author seems to be bullish on decentralized storage, decentralized ID, blockchain, gaming and privacy. Of course, you should watch the video as well, not just look through the information like this, because there is more information in the video itself, not just while looking through the script or the text that especially that chat looks and provides you. So I really recommend you to look through the video and only then ask Bing to make a summary or if you'll get some questions while watching the video or you, you, you'll think, okay, that's interesting. I should mark this video as interesting one and then you don't have where to write, to summarize and so on. So that's a good tool, that's a good way to ask and get the information you are looking for. Because this way I got the information right away. And I just got a little bit deeper. I asked what coins are in those categories. And here we go. Filecoin, Civic, Kit Protocol, X-Infinity, Gala Games, Oasis Network, Aztec Network. So this is how you can quickly make a research from a video you have liked and that, had, and that had a lot of information which might be like difficult to write everything down right away. I asked the bank to summarize. I got the most popular, most bullish categories. I got the coins from each category 
And now, if I want, I can go deeper into each coin and do a research about it and then maybe buy or sell something from or related to those coins or okay those coins so and just to let you know i'm not a financial advisor i am and i'm not telling you to buy or sell anything especially crypto i'm just your friend on youtube so if you think this was useful hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing and until next time Cheers.